Hello peoples, this is Beta Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we left the dry dry desert, we left Mount Rugged, and we left Toad Town, and entered the Forever Forest. A place that's very easy to get lost in. I mean, this place is so easy to get lost in. I mean, well it's not really easy to get lost in, I was probably just an idiot. I was probably just like a little dumbass when I first went in, didn't notice things. But, this place is a very interesting way of getting through it, as you will see soon. Now, uh, I guess one thing to note before we go off, there are actually hidden areas in this, and the game kind of trolls you with two of them. I'll try and show you them if I can. Oh. Swear so this place is creepy as hell. Anyway, okay, that bush smiled and laughed at us. So apparently this is the right way to go. Oh my god, it's a... No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, wait, give me a second. Korok! It's a Korok! I knew I could remember their names. Koroks are those little leaf guys from the, uh, Forest Haven area in, uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. <laughs> little guys that are protected by the Deku Tree. Anyway, hmm, what do you think you're doing? What are you, a ninja? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Didn't you know that? You better go back. If you get lost in this forest, you'll become a Stalfos. Okay. Okay. So that's your story. You're invited to Boo's Castle. Boo's Castle? Jeez, did I really just say that? Boo's Mansion. You may pass them. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you'll have to pay... You'll have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong path, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it. The areas around the correct path will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a, good, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot strange glowing eyes. Oh, God, is that creepy. Well, now I know where they released all the wolfos that are howling around here. Yeah, I blame my nerdness for knowing all the names of Legend of Zelda enemies. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. Yeah, the exit near that tree. Freaking away from that tree. These clues will be different in other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. And off he bounces away. And yes, guys, as he means, see back there, no real difference over here. So you keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, boy. nope, nope. Ah, I was trying to time the jump so I'd land on him. Anyway, guys, these are forest fuzzies. Now, other than just being a bit stronger, these. Ah, oh, man, I should use my hammer. These guys are basically the same as just any other fuzzy. Uh, I can't remember if there's any specific difference. Yes, there's this difference. He has a little seizure and then he does that. There's a timing for him. As you can see, they have the same timing as as any other fuzzy, really. And I believe they have about 5 or 6 HP. I guess in a way, they're good for grinding a bit of star points. If you should need them. Haha! Uh, should you need them, I believe they're good at- they're basically good for getting some star points given that they keep multiplying when they get low in health. I don't think they'll multiply generally if there's none of them. I know if they get at least five of them on screen, they'll stop multiplying, but yep, here they go again. The good part is, I believe all the spawned ones, whenever they multiply like that, uh, the first one is left with whatever HP it would have had normally, and I think the, uh, the new one it creates has half HP. Don't quote me on that, but hopefully we'll find out soon with, uh, with the peekaboo badge. Oh, come on. Ah! I wasn't hit at all during this battle. Nice. Oh, now you activate. Early. And that thing just got murdered, even though it would have probably gotten murdered even with normal. Anyway, speaking of equipping the peekaboo badge. Level up! Now, like I said before, 20 HP is good enough for me for most of the game. 
15 FP will be good for now since I'm trying not to rely too heavily on FP. But, we got the BP. So give my coins. I'm gonna hide behind Koopa while I equip this badge. Koopa, protect me. Anyway, peekaboo. I will basically show how this one works very soon. Hello? Are we already passed it? Okay, keep looking for the, keep looking in the background. Okay, I think. Oh, Jesus! Okay, guys, and I'm an idiot and realized that I could have shown off the peekaboo badge right there. After. Oh God! Ah, ah it's creepy. Hey, we want to head this way. Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, guys, I'm an idiot. I realized after finishing that part. Um. Uh, what do you call it? I realized after finishing that part that the, uh... Um... That I could have shown off the peekaboo badge. Jeez, God, my words. Anyway, if you head in here, this is one of those little secret areas I was talking about where it kind of leads into the center of the inner forest. Though this one, it's just his little words of wisdom, I guess you could say. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pick all the right paths. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back in the forest edge before you know it. You can find your way as long as you keep your wits about you and study the forest. But remember that the right way is not always in front of you. On occasion, you must remember to look back as well. Now, what that means exactly, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think there's any time. Oh, God, these things. Their lips! Okay, they kind of kiss the air. I'm not sure if that's the right way to go. Okay, those ones kind of spin. Don't spin. Okay, so that was the right way. Uh, but yeah, look for little differences like that, because you will actually be forced back to the forest edge, like literally, the entrance to Forever Forest. Now, I believe in here there's one more inner area that we want to get to. Go past this one. Yes. This one is actually mandatory to actually beat the game, as you'll see later on. Hey, hello there! I'm a bubble from the land called pa Flower Fields. A flower, a flower seed? <laughs> Should I give it to you, or shouldn't I? Deal or no deal? Well, I suppose I'll give it to you. Here you go. You got the magical seed. Seed I have a planted in the flower garden in Toe Town. Please plant it somewhere nice and take extra good care of it. If you plant it somewhere bad, and I find out about it, I might place a curse on you. Hehe, <laughs> home. Oh, yeah, guys, that one is actually required, as I said, uh, to beat the game. Uh... Though the game doesn't even tell you that, so it's kind of tricky later on. Anyway, uh, nothing too unusual over here. Uh, ah! Screw you! Another fuzzy. Nope, nope, nope. Haha! <laughs> By the way, I, I failed to mention this in the beginning of the video. I brought out Cooper just because he's useful for some of the enemies in here, kind of. I kind of spotted an enemy. Okay, we got glowing mushrooms. Right over here. Ah! These guys are piranha plants. Oh, and we actually get to show off the peekaboo badge here at least. So, yeah, guys, these are piranha plants. Uh, now, the thing about these enemies is that because of their sharp teeth, you cannot jump on them. So, use your hammer. Although, I doubt I needed to really tell you that. I mean. The hammer is basically more useful than your jump at this point anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about it. There's the timing for their attack. Ah. As you can see, they do a decent amount of damage, so you want to make sure you get the timing right. Uh, there's not really too much else to say about them. You kind of want to press A right, like, like I said, the split, split second after they hit you. It's not as precise as in the Thousand Year Door. Yeah, see. See, there I hit it right when, like, right as he was touching me. Which, as you saw right there, wasn't really good enough. So if there's a lot of these guys, they can take you out, but given that they have 5 HP, what you can do is come in here with the Quake Hammer, and then use Cooper's Power Shell, and it'll take them out all in the first turn. So if you're not worried about using some FP, then you can go ahead and do that. Uh... I guess if you still prefer your jumps even without the power boost so far, 
If you have the spike shield equipped, you can use that on them, but the piranha plants are kind of another reason why I equipped Cooper in this area. Wow, uh, lag from all the sprites. It was another reason that I equipped Cooper in this area, because Paracarry, given that he attacks from the air. Oh, jeez. Okay, that looked... Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that doesn't close. So. Okay, these guys basically... What you, what you do is, if you head in a specific direction, they try and pop out in front of you. Ah. <laughs> like that. Okay, so that's kind of what they do. They just like to jump out in front of you like that. Now, right, guys. Now, see, even this one isn't different. This, I'm going to hope, won't bring me back to the entrance. Because I believe this is one of the areas where the game tries to kind of troll you. You know what? Oh, jeez. Why is that there? This is the area that I'm thinking of, right? What? No! Huh? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, three. Did I go one too far? Okay, let's see. After the tree... I'm trying to remember, because I know it was in the, it's in the area with the mushrooms. Okay, I believe you have to go one to the right. I guess this is... I guess I must have skipped it without thinking. Okay, this should be oh, okay. Yeah, let me see that giant. Oh, oh. 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 What? What? Come on! 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 Oh. Oh god! Why? Why are they here? Why are they here? Guys, those guys aren't even supposed to appear for like another two, three chapters! Oh my god! I saw him and I was like, wait, can I can I fight him? And so I went after him and then I saw how much damage he did Oh my god! Hey guys, take those guys on if you can, but you saw how much damage they do, and it's really awkward to fight them. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Pro tip. Don't attack the beehive. Jeez, okay, just give me... Get out of here. Okay, just give me my thing. Okay, over here. HP plus badge. Would have been useful for that battle. Okay, uh... Okay, crap. Which way do I get out of here? I think, I think I passed two, so it'd be two to the right. Yeah. Uh, I'd much fight this guy. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Mm. Get away, you little territorial mother. Fricker. Get in, go, get in, go! Go, go, go! Oh my god. Okay, sorry guys about the freaking stairs there. Oh my god. Woo! That startled me. Why the hell is he here? Hee hee hee. Happy fleshy animation. It's making me happier after that crap. Man. Okay, we get smiley flowers that die away. That's creepy. And like I said, the piranha plants, you can basically zigzag around them and you're fine. Okay, these don't smile, but they don't... Ugh, they don't... And those ones die away, so that last one was a good one. Get away! Shoo! Shoo plants! Shoo plants, don't bother me! You fly, don't bother me. God, that fly's still in here. Okay. Oh man. Anything weird here? Buzz it. Anyway. Okay, there's a creepy laffy rock. Is that the way? Oh. Okay. You have business at. Wait, what? So there's a laffy rock. What if I follow the laffy rock? 
Okay, it didn't seem to bring me back to the beginning of the forest, so that's good. Ooh, okay, yes. This is the one right at the end that I was thinking about. See, the only way I remember where these two hidden badges are are the fact that one is in the area with the mushrooms, and one is, uh... This is the way I came, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. He <laughs> didn't send me back. But yeah, it's like once in the area with the mushrooms, and the other one is right at the end, because, as it says, if you have business at Boo's Mansion, come this way. And through. Yeah, nice animation showing a pathway that we will never see again due to camera limita limitations. Phew, well it looks like we finally made it out of that spooky forest. Hey, Mario. What do you bet that's the ma- What do you bet that's the mansion that the old boo was talking about before? Okay, sorry, that question was a little awkward, but... Huh. Okay, I knew something had to be out here. Ooh, Vulturum. This guy's we have a specific use for, I guess, that we... Well, that I can show you later. But for now, since we're already here, it wouldn't make sense for me to go back. Alright, head through the creepy gate. Wolfos, shut up! <laughs> and there's the boo butler dude in front of giant Hershey bar doors. Welcome, sirs and madame. <laughs> sirs and madame, at, le at least he's acknowledging Bombette. I'm pleased you made it through the forever forest. My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. Very nice mansion. Why does it keep beeping every time you look? Please go to the third floor. What is this, Luigi's mansion? Actually, it looks fairly reminiscent. There you will hear all the news of the star spirits. All the latest, hottest news. I'll see you there. Goodbye, Mr. Boo. Okay, regardless of that. Let's run over here. Yep. God, so I probably could have just gone all the way here if I hadn't have gotten into another fight with a B, but still. Alright guys. I think we'll be calling this a day. Uh, I cut a little more out of this episode, so this one's probably going to be a little bit shorter. Which kind of bugs me. I was hoping to at least get partway through the mansion during this episode, but the Forever Force took a little longer than I expected, especially with that B. But seeing as how we cut out a lot of battles, I probably could go for a couple more minutes, but I'm not going to test it. So anyway guys, this has been Beta Knights for Let's Play Paper Mario. In the next episode, we enter the Hershey Bar doors into Boo's Mansion. And we find out about this master that's inside. Oh god, is it going to be a freaking King Boo or something? Sounds like it'd be. So anyway guys, I will catch you all next time. Have a good night y'all, and bye bye for now.